guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my 21st installment of my lipstick roulette. Uh, before we get into the actual lipsticks, I'm just gonna do a small little disclaimer, I guess. Uh, I know that I've been a bit MIA the last week. I haven't posted much uh, at all this week. And that is because I've been super, super busy. Um, I've been away every single weekend for the last six weekends. So I haven't been in my apartment uh, for a weekend for the last month and a half, which has been really hectic. Uh, and I've also been traveling uh, as well on top of that. So yeah, I haven't really had time to film. I did do a little bit of pre-filming before I went on my holiday in Spain. However, that kind of ran out and then I had some different plans come up. And yeah, um, the issue right now though is that I, usually I have been able to film during the weeks when I missed filming during the weekends. But now, moving into the fall and winter here in Sweden, um, especially now when we went into winter savings time, it is pitch dark when I get home from work. So I don't have any lights, so it's really hard for me to film in the evenings, which is why I haven't been able to post anything, because I didn't have any content to post. But I am back, I am filming, um, I have been away this weekend as well, but it's Sunday afternoon and I am currently filming this, so this will go up straight after I am done filming. Uh, and yeah, I am pre-filming a few videos, so hopefully I will catch up on the videos next week. But enough of me rambling about my missing kind of situation. Uh, let's just move into the lipsticks. The first lipstick I have is this one right here, and this is one of the Revlon Lip Butters in the shade Pink Lemonade. This one is a really, really light, just baby pink color. Uh, these Revlon Lip Butters, as you probably know, are quite sheer uh, lip colors and... Yeah, um, this one is basically just a really moisturizing, light baby pink lipstick. The good thing about this being a bit more sheer and creamy though is that it doesn't really get that weird, kind of shocky look that some really, really pale pinks can give you. But uh, either way, I am not going to keep this in my collection. I do think it's really pretty on, but I just don't really reach for these types of lipsticks. Uh, if I'm going for a nude, I do sometimes... I usually go for more of a, like a natural kind of nude. This is kind of too pale for me um, and too pink. So it kind of looks a little bit too Barbie and just... It just reminds me of uh, a trend that I went around when I was younger. <laughs> when girls here in Sweden wore super like pale lipsticks all the time. Either way, this will be leaving my collection because I just don't reach for it and yeah. Um, I don't really need this type of color in my collection. And that is the swatch of the first shade of my lipstick roulette. Next up we have another Revlon lip butter and this one is in the shade Tutti Frutti. So this one is basically just a straight up orange um, yeah, lip butter. Again, the formula is the same as the last one. And yeah, um, I do quite like this one. I was not a big fan at all of orange lipsticks a couple of years back. Don't know why. Um, recently, a lot of people have told me that I look really good in orangey reds, which I am agreeing with. I just don't know, but straight up oranges is never something that I was into, but I have started loving them. And this one is uh, no exception. And it is definitely a color that I would start reaching for. Um, and yeah, I actually started really enjoying and I actually started really enjoying this type of formula as well, so that is awesome. Um, this was probably something that I would potentially pan in the future. So yeah, this will be staying as of now. And that is the swatch of Tutti Frutti on my hand. Next up we have a Maybelline lipstick and this is one of the Vivid Brights in the shade Shocking Coral. So this one is definitely not a fall color, but uh, I did wear it over the last two weeks. Um, also my favorite lipstick to wear right now. But it is a really nice shade. I have used a lot of this. I used to love this a couple years back. I wore this all the time. And I really, really like this kind of bright, yeah, corally pink color. Um, I would say that it's definitely more pink than coral. Uh, for being named coral uh, or shocking coral. Uh, but... Yeah, I just love this shade. And part of me know that I should probably part with it because it is getting a bit older, but it still works well. Um, 
When I wore it on my lips, it hadn't really changed consistency and it still smells the same as it always has. But yeah, I think I will be keeping this. Um, I, like I said, I'm quite torn. This is probably one of those that would be a maybe. Um, I just, I have so many like nostalgic feelings to this lipstick and I can't really let that go. Although I don't really use it that often anymore. But I know that this is something that I would pan potentially in the future, although it is super super bright um yeah i just can't part with this right now and since i don't have too much left i will show you i mean it's still a decent amount but not too too much i could probably pan this um in two months maybe maybe that's ambitious i don't know for a bright lipstick but you you guys get my point so i will be keeping this as for now uh, but i will probably find a way to move this out of my collection either through decluttering or uh, project panning in the next couple of months. And again, just to show you close up, that is the lipstick on my hand. So next up we have two lipsticks that are quite similar. We're gonna start with this one which is from MAC and this one is in the shade Whirl and is one of their mattes. This one I love, I love, love, love this type of shade. It's kind of funny because a couple of years back or when I was younger, um, my mom used to have a few brown lipsticks and I thought those were the most atrocious things ever. I thought that whoever would wear a brown lipstick. I thought that that was kind of just not that pretty. I used, I don't know. It's, I, I remember distinctly how much I disliked my mom's brown lipstick. But I wish I would have known how much I would fall in love with them. Uh, because I absolutely adore this shade and it's just so stunning on the lips. I just love this shade. Um. The formula of this is really, really, really nice. I love the MAC mattes and the retro mattes. Um, and yeah, this one is definitely no exception. I love this shade. And this is one of my newer MAC lipsticks. So I haven't had it for too long. Which is another reason why I definitely want to keep this one. Uh, this is a perfect fall shade. And I've been loving wearing this over the last two weeks. So yeah, this will definitely be staying. And that is the MAC lipstick on my hand. And then the final lipstick from last round is this one, which is the one that I'm wearing. And this one is from Colourpop, and it's one of their lip sticks in the shade Capiche. Again, it's one of their Matte X formulas. So this one is really, really, really similar to the MAC one. I would say that the MAC one is a bit lighter and just kind of a bit more beige, I guess. And if anything, this one is perhaps a bit more purpley. I would still definitely call it a brown, but it is just a slight bit different than Whirl. Whirl definitely has more kind of beige undertones and this one definitely has more pink in it, if that makes sense. Anyway, I definitely love this lipstick as well. I, again, have loved, loved, loved wearing this over the last weeks. It's kind of the same with the shade though. It's a brown. I used to hate them, now I love them and I could be wearing these every single day and again the matte x formula from colourpop you know is one of my favorite formulas of all time so this lipstick ain't going anywhere it's staying in my collection i haven't decluttered any of my lipsticks i think uh, but it's because i just love these so so much and since colourpop kind of replaces their stock all the time i know that if i declutter most of them i can't get them again so yeah Either way, I love this shade and I'm definitely going to keep this one. Although you may think that it's kind of excessive keeping both of these. But I just love both of the shades so much. And I can't get rid of neither of these. And that is the Colourpop one. Hopefully you can see the kind of the shade difference between uh, the MAC one and the Colourpop one. Because they are a bit different, although quite similar. So this round I'm only getting rid of one lipstick. But I am putting two of them in my kind of to pan pile for some time in the near future. Uh, so yeah, that is kind of the sum up for this round. Uh, and let's just move on to picking some lipsticks for next round. So as usual, my box is right here and I'm just gonna start by grabbing some lipsticks. The first lipstick will be this one, which is one of my YSL lipsticks, uh, Rouge Volopt lipsticks in the shade number eight. And that is the YSL lipstick on my hand. The second lipstick will be this one, which is uh, from Bourjois and it's one of their Rouge de Velvets in number 5, Olay Flamingo. And that is the second shade on my hand. 
The third lipstick will be... This one, which is one of my uh, NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams in the shade Tokyo. And that is Tokyo swatched on my hand. The fourth lipstick will be... This one, which is from uh, Urban Decay, and it's uh, one of their Mega Mac lipsticks in 714. And that is the Urban Decay lipstick on my hand, just a classic red. And the fifth and final lipstick for next round will be... One of my Colourpop uh, lipsticks in the shade Boa. And that is the final shade swatched on my hand. I don't really know how I always end up with the same type of colors in the same round but this is the color scheme for next round and not very fall appropriate but I will make it work uh, but that was it for this video guys I really really hope you enjoyed it uh, if you're enjoying this lipstick roulette series please give this video a thumbs up and I will as always have my uh, lipstick roulette series linked up in the card so you can check that out if you want to uh, otherwise I hope you're having the best of days and I will talk to you in my next video bye guys